In the annals of grand feasts and gourmet gatherings, few tales are as, well, cheesy as that of Dr. Hatch Salmon. A bon vivant, a man of letters and a cheese enthusiast, Dr. Salmon was both a connoisseur and a consumer of the curdled milk product. His love for cheese was legendary, his collection enviable, and his palate extraordinary. So when the Golden Goblet Country Club extended an invitation to a banquet, our dear doctor was more excited than a cat in a fish market. As the evening unfurled, the delightful aroma of roasted meats, the clinking of fine china, and the chatter of the upper crust filled the air. Dr. Salmon, however, was growing increasingly antsy. His eyes darted around, his fork stabbed at the air, and his lips pursed in a pout. His heart was heavy, his stomach emptier than his glass of wine. The cause of his distress? A shocking absence of cheese. Now imagine a man denied his greatest passion, a man deprived of his heart's desire. That was Dr. Salmon, a cheese lover in a cheeseless world. His pleas fell on deaf ears, his demands were met with apathy, and his desperation grew. From a gentleman he morphed into a man possessed, his voice echoing through the grand halls, his demands for a slice of brie, a chunk of cheddar growing louder. The climax of the evening was a spectacle of epic proportions. Dr. Salmon, the cheese devotee, had turned into a cheese desperado. He stormed through the banquet hall, his rampage leaving a trail of destruction. Tables were overturned, glasses shattered, and the refined ambiance was replaced with utter pandemonium. His quest for cheese led him to the bar, where he attempted to drown his sorrows in whiskey. The liquid courage fueled his cheeseless rage, and soon he was out in the parking lot taking his frustrations out on his own car with a golf club. It was a symphony of shattered glass and crushed metal, all in the name of cheese. The end of the tale is as dramatic as the tale itself. Dr. Salmon, the cheese-loving scholar, was escorted away by the authorities, leaving behind a scene of devastation. The banquet hall was in ruins, the guests were in shock, and the cheese... well, the cheese was still missing. The aftermath of the banquet was a testament to the power of cheese, or rather the power of a lack of cheese, over a man. And so, dear listeners, remember, never underestimate the power of a good cheese.